What's happening guys? Keith here with another Impact Wrestling Review. So we had a really good show tonight. I thought from top to bottom it was just really overall solid. I mean, a few things here and there that I didn't really particularly care for, but overall just they're really moving in the right direction with a lot of things. So we open the show up with Matt Seidel and Austin Aries meeting face to face outside the arena. Uh, Matt Seidel talks about wanting to be world champion and then brings up option C that Austin Aries put up his X Division championship in order to get a shot at the world title. Um, Aries then notices that he's got the grand championship. Well, I should say Josh Matthews is wearing the grand championship. He says, you know what? There is one title that I haven't held. And Matthews is like, no, 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 that's my championship. So Seidel's like, you know what? That's fine. So we have our main event for the evening of Matt Seidel versus Austin Aries, title versus title, winner take all. So we go into the impact zone with our first match of the night, which is a fatal four-way between P.D. Williams, Suicide, Rohit Raju, uh, versus Taiji Ishimori. Uh, so this is a good match. Great way to open the show. Fast-paced. Uh, good back and forth. Couple of good spots. Uh, Rohit hits a suicide dive onto P.D. Williams and Suicide on the outside, and then Ishimori hits the Golden Moonsault. Uh, we got a couple of different, you know, uh, multi-man moves. I think uh, somebody hit an atomic drop, and instead of using the knee, they use the person, the other person's back. Uh, we had a bunch of near falls. Uh, Ishimori hit the 450 on Raju, but was broken up by Suicide. Uh, Suicide, Ishimori, and PD battled back and forth for a bit, and eventually PD hit the Canadian Destroyer on Suicide for the win. Uh, after the match, PD Williams challenges Matt Seidel at Redemption, cashing in his Feaster hired briefcase for a shot at the X Division Championship. So that is our second match for um, Redemption that is scheduled. So we go backstage, and Mackenzie is interviewing Eli Drake about winning the tag team title briefcase. Eli says that he is one of the best in the company, and he should be going after the top title, not the tag team titles. He said that he doesn't have a partner, and he doesn't want one. You think I want some cross-eyed half-twit as a partner, he said. And then at this point, he's just kind of like, you know what? I have an idea. And then he leaves. So we go back. Uh, to one of those green screen shots of Josh Matthews and Sanjay. They're basically hyping WrestleCon and then run down what's going to happen throughout the rest of the show. And then we get a clip of Eddie Edwards saying that he is in Ohio and he's coming for Callahan, the Chris brothers. So we head to ringside and Amber Nova is already in the ring. Braxton Sutter comes out, stands on the stage and introduces Sue Young. Sue Young comes out, great theme music. Great entrance, loved every part of it. But as she's coming down, you just take a look to the left, and Braxton Sutter is standing there, and it's like, eh, that kind of ruins her whole, you know, debut and entrance. Lights should have been dimmed, you know, give it one of those rosemary entrances. But whatever. Um, so as she's coming down to the ring, we get a replay of last week where. She attacked Allie in her debut, and at this point, apparently she starts attacking Amber Nova, so they get rid of that. We go to the ring, she hits her with a couple moves, then hits the panic switch, and that was that. Just a squash match for her first uh, showing. Um, I hope we get a little bit of a backstory, at least, on Soo Young. Um, I, I, it seems like they're going to... Go with Sue Young versus Allie at Redemption. I mean, that's, I have no idea if that's the case, but that's just the way it seemed to progress throughout the night. Um, like I said, I'd be interested in seeing her back, knowing about her backstory and, you know, the reason for her doing it, if Braxton Sutter hired her to do it or whatever it is. But, you know, let's, let's build up a story here. So we go backstage, and Mackenzie is interviewing Johnny Impact. She asks him about wanting to win the tur world title, and uh, he says, you know what, it's tough because everyone has the same goal. And at this point, Jimmy Jacob comes up and goes, how do you know what my goals are? He says, Johnny, you live in this beautiful bubble, but a ma monster is about to pop it. Impact wants to know what Jacob wants, and then Jacob's just like, you'll find out soon. So I don't know if this is going to lead to Johnny Impact versus Congo Kong, 
But uh, that would be interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, just as two completely different styles in the ring. Um, but you know what? If anybody can bring a good match out of it, it's definitely Johnny Impact. So we head backstage and we see Taya walking and she's very proud of herself that she's proved once again that she got the better or she's better than Rosemary. Um, at this point, we see Rosemary walking on storage containers next to her with a garbage can in hand or a trash can. And at this point, Taya realizes she's up there. Rosemary throws the trash can down, hits Taya. Uh, she jumps down. They go back and forth. Uh, at this point, Dick just, does, Justice comes out of one of the uh, the storage containers and goes, What in tarnation is going on out here? So Taya knocks Rosemary down um, into a, like a little container. And uh, at this point, she's, she gets distracted by Dick Justice, who's now out. And Rosemary hits her with the red mist. At this point, Amber uh, no Amber Nova comes walking by, and since Ty is blinded at this point, she mistakes Amber for Rosemary, so she starts fighting her. And then Rosemary, uh, we see her disappear, and then a bunch of people come out and try to break it up. And then all of a sudden, Rosemary appears again on top of the container. Hits a flying crossbody, and that was that. It, it was a really cool backstage segment. I like that they're continuing this, you know, outside the ring, just keeping it going, keep it, keep it brewing, build it up some more. And then we get everybody's favorite. Um, so this match was hyped, I guess, on Twitter. Impact had posted it that we were going to get Falaba versus KM, and it happened at WrestlePro. I think it was Brooklyn, New York. Uh, so it feels like uh, we go a few weeks in between where we have matches that don't happen, you know, matches outside of the impact zone, and we're like, yeah, we're in the clear, here we go, we're good, and then bam, nope, here comes another one. Um, I mean, for what it was, the match, it was per it was a perfect house show match, but it had no, no reason to be on a televised show. Um but KM got the win after Falaba missed the bonsai drop, and then KM pins him with his feet on the ropes. Um, I feel like with this whole um, them working with other companies, I mean, you know, loaning wrestlers to go to different promotions and, well, promote themselves, and then maybe putting these companies on the Global Wrestling Network, but, I mean, we really don't need these matches on a week weekly show. The, there's enough time constraints as it is. Hell, we're complaining about a two-minute Global Wrestling Network flashback moment, and you know you put something like this on it just it just kind of kills things. Um, but then we get a video package hyping the Bobby Lashley versus Brian Cage match, and then we get that match. Whew. These guys put on a good match. Um, Two men basically throughout the match were showing their power and athleticism. Uh, both men hit Hurricane Rana's in the beginning. Uh, Lashley went outside, collected himself, got back in the ring. He went on the offensive, which was short-lived. And then Cage knocks Lashley out of the ring, hits a running flip dive over the top rope, taking out Lashley. I mean, the crowd started getting into it a bit, you know, mostly for Lashley, but a little faint... Uh, machine chance but i would have expected the crowd to be into this match i mean this is a pretty big match and the crowd was just dead so both men get up lashley went to the other side of the ring they're just kind of staring at each other jump up back on the apron they go back back and forth shot for shot for pretty much a good portion of the match uh brian cage hits a springboard tornado ddt on lashley uh, they go back and forth some more. Lashley hits a spear on Cage. Cage is able to roll out of the ring. Lashley rolls Cage back in the ring, goes for the pin, hits, gets a two count. Cage eventually gets up, hits a, was it a discus forearm, I think? Discus lariat and pins Lashley, and that was that. It was a little bit of an abrupt ending. I didn't expect it to end like this. Um, but hey. They, it, they put on a good match. It was a great match for TV. 
I mean, had they they could have built this match up to be a pay per view match had you know things not happen. Uh, the crowd really did take a, a good amount out of this match, um, but it, it definitely showed what Brian Cage is capable, at least to people that are not familiar with his work. Uh, if you guys really want to see one of his best matches, um, he wrestled uh, Katsuhiku Nakajima at Summer Navigation 2017 in Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, fantastic match. I would definitely check that out. So we go backstage, and Allie asks Gail for some advice about her recent situation with Braxton Sutter and and uh, now Sue Young. And Gail tells her, you know, she kind of is like, you are the champion for a reason. You need to stand up for yourself. And so, you know, Allie just needed a little bit of confidence, and she left, and there she goes. And we get a Global Wrestling Network flashback of the week. Uh, P.D. Williams versus A.J. Styles versus Chris Saban in an Ultimate X match. Um, yeah, less than maybe two minutes or so. So we finally figure out what Eli Drake is up to. So he finds Moose backstage, and he wants to trade briefcases. He says that with the tag belt case, you get two belts, while this world title case, you only get one. And, you know, I'd rather have two than one. Moose just goes, no. So Eli's like, you know what? I, I understand you're still new. You know, you could tag with Eddie Edwards or someone else. And then Moose is like, all right, you know what? How about this? How about we have a match next week? If you win, you can have my briefcase. But if I win, I get to keep my briefcase and I get your briefcase. He leaves and Eli's like, why do we have to fight? <laughs> so it, it was a good back and forth segment. And... Now we go back to Ohio, where Edwards is looking for Callahan. He heads into a rock star wrestling show, goes through the front door, grabs a kendo stick, heads to the ring, starts cracking people over the head with the kendo stick, grabs the mic, yells, where's, where's Sammy? Where's Callahan? Callahan emerges from the back with bat in hand, of course. Um, Edwards takes out the Chris brothers as they were at ringside at this point. Uh, and then he goes to work on Callahan. Obviously, the numbers game is too much for Edwards. Chris Brothers hold him back. Eddie Edwards, uh, not Eddie Edwards, I'm sorry. Callahan had the uh, bat. Edwards spits in his face, hits him with a low blow. Edwards fights him off for a bit. Chris Brothers grab him back again. Callahan hits him in the face with the butt of the bat. And then the Chris Brothers hit the spike tombstone. And the three of them stand victorious in the ring. So, you know just adding more to the feud i love the back and forth stuff great stuff and then sammy cuts a promo afterwards saying that you know edwards thought he could come to ohio and try to run ove down well ove is coming after him and everything he holds dear because it's ohio versus everything everything and that brings us to the main event with Matt Seidel versus Austin Aries, title for title. Great match. Um, Austin Aries chants from the crowd in the beginning. There were times where they were preoccupied with Josh Matthews at ringside. Um, we get a look in backstage, and Alberto El Patron is watching the television from a normal angle. He isn't, you know, standing sideways or at a weird angle watching the TV, which impacts Twitter. Uh, made a point to say that, which was hilarious. But uh, Aries takes control early in the match, putting almost putting Seidel in the last chancery with Seidel. Gets out of the ring and kind of collects himself. Um, but, I mean, the, the match was a lot of back-and-forth action. Uh, Aries go on, going on the offensive for a bit, and then Matt Seidel going on the offensive. So they went back and forth for a little while. Aries goes for a suicide dive, but as he's bouncing off the ropes... Uh, Josh Matthews grabs his leg. Aries is like, what the hell, man? Um, so Seidel comes in, hits a knee. Aries hits the discus forearm. Both men go down. Aries falls on top, gets a two count. Uh, Josh Matthews continues to get in the way. I think at one point uh, Aries was going to hit the Death Valley driver on the apron on Seidel, and Matthews got in the way, and then he went up top, and Matthews got on the apron again. And at this point, P.D. Williams came down and kind of uh, stopped Matthews from interfering, which makes sense because P.D. Williams is going to challenge Seidel at redemption. 
Uh, Seidel goes up for a shooting star press. He misses, lands on his feet. Aries hits the forearm, drop kick in the corner, and then the brain buster for the win. And Austin Aries is your new grand champion and still world champion. So good, good, good show. Just like I said, I, I really enjoyed it from top to bottom. Um, and I, I'm guessing that we will soon see the grand championship no more. Um, but for the time being, Austin Aries is holding another belt. And, you know, what What, what they did for the show, they, they did a really good job. I enjoyed it. it. seemed like a lot of other people enjoyed it from what I was look, saw on Twitter. And you just got to keep going. Uh, we have WrestleCon next Friday night. Um, that's great. They announced a whole bunch of things that they're going to be doing throughout that weekend, which I'll be talking about on this week's impact report amongst other things some more news um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed my review thanks for checking it out and until next time don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks guys bye